thank you so much for clicking on the video. This video is entitled to Miss Deanna Irving. Miss Deanna Irving, I want to welcome you to W A O Y N, which is We Are On Your Neck, bitch. How the hell you run around here running them up in everybody's chat? Go up over to your channel, talk your shit as if you don't have not one skeleton in the club. You mean to tell me that you've been down there, down to the Walmart, stealing, and the people told you don't bring your ass back in here no more. I hope whatever you stole was well worth it. But in my opinion, if you didn't walk away with the motherfucking building, bitch, you got played. You out here always having the nerve to talk about Tracy. No, not scratch that bitch. You have the nerve enough to talk about 5A. You have the nerve enough to talk about Brother J. As if your shit don't stink. Girl, I can smell your shit all the, from here to floor. Now, if you didn't take the whole building, I have just a few suggestions for you. When you went in there, you should have had a list of shit that you was going to take. And you knew you couldn't afford to pay for it. I wanted you to swing by the counter that sells all of the foot therapy treatment stuff. I wanted you, I did not want you to forget that Huskers. Huskers will work wonders for your heels, honey. That way, you won't be cutting up all them damn sheets in your bed. Then, after you did your Huskers treatment, get you a little original Jergens. Massage that in. Bring life back to from death. Because those heels I saw, baby, they was on their last day. I was scared for you to keep walking. They just started start combusting in the blood. But I digress. Then I guess you took your ass over there to the cosmetic department where they sell hair rollers and, and things such as that and perms and whatnot. And you took your ass over there to the rotten curl why when i saw you with them tight ass curls on it gave me a migraine and that was a few days ago bitch my head still hurting from them tight ass migraines you can't tell me you can't do them better than that i understand you're in the one household income and sometimes time may get short but if it's short bitch well ponytail don't come on here making forcing everybody that see you with those tight ass curls catch a migraine and then they end up telling you how good you look girl that's not good that's not good nor is it a look i just want to let you know then you had the nerve to say And you know what? I wonder if you can't. I know 9 times out of 10 when you're still out of Walmart, you cannot go back in there. So have you been banned from all the Walmarts? Because sometimes, you know, one or two get away. Do, or do we need to run off by the million copies and have your fucking face posted to the door? Beware, this shit will steal your store. I'm just asking. One thing about we know about Walmart, when they fire you for stealing, they got you. They got your hands down. It's irrefutable. They got all the cameras looking at you. Well, you scan some, but pocket the other. You scan some, you pocket the other. That's what I call a roguish bitch. And you had no business behind that fooling with the people money. What you should have been doing is out there keeping sure the floor is straight. Straighten up some fucking shoes. If you're going to steal from over there, put on your apparel. It will have made a hell of a day for you. Girl, you better get yourself together. Because these streets out here, they ain't got no love for you. 